Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we are going to uh, jump into Seven's uh, Shinryu fight here, right? And this was a pretty fun fight. Um, kind of like this team build I did. So basically I just did Garnet, uh, Seven, and Pinello. So this is basically the same concept as my other build, which was Terra, um, Garnet, and Pinello. I'm just slotting in Seven basically in Terra slot. Now, Seven doesn't have the back-to-back -back FR because it's not instant turn rate like Terra does. So, Terra, you can just get into it a little bit quicker. Um, but the thing is, is Seven and Garnet, even though they're not instant turns, they're still not eating up turn count. So, it just takes you a little bit longer to use their skills. But you can still get very heavy numbers very quickly. And what Seven actually has over Terra is she's got the Bondage Whip traps, right? And I don't know what the deal was, but when I did her showcase... Um, Seven's Bondage Whip wasn't that impressive, like it was only hitting like 50Ks. Um, but right here, you can see they're already hitting like 120-something K, and we get really good numbers out of her trap in this video. Now, her trap does scale off of her attack, so it might have been something in the showcase where maybe she was just missing a really important attack um, buff. Maybe we had her over-buffed over with other things and she couldn't put an attack buff on. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe that fight I was doing like reduced or lowered the attack of the characters. I, I don't know for sure. But all I know is, is her trap's now hitting 150k without a multiplier is actually really good here. And you're going to see in this video, we get really good number of the traps. So the fact that her traps are putting up good damage, and we saw in the showcase how 7's FR is just a gigantic nuke attack. Um, I'm actually really enjoying 7. She may actually be a little underrated. I think she's very good. Um, now, once again, how long will she last? I, I can't really say for sure because, you know, we got Tifa on the horizon. Um, I know there's some really good stuff coming next month. But there you go right there, 185 um, on the traps. Like, really good damage, 170k there. So, yeah, that trap damage is good because, once again, you can see we're spamming all these instant turns with Pinello. We'll toss in, you know, a Garnet one every four turns, and that's at 600k, really good for Garnet, and then 185k. But here's the thing, Garnet's only triggers every four turns, so if you compare sevens, and you're doing 180k four times, she's actually out-damaging Garnet um, on that off-turn attack. So, yeah, it, it, after doing this video, I actually like seven even more than when I did her showcase, because when I did her showcase, it was like, I really like 7, but I wasn't impressed with the Bondage Whip damage. But yeah, the, the, the damage here is fine. It's really, really good. Um, so if this is the kind of damage she's putting up, I mean, she she can fulfill that role of the off turn that you want. And she's actually one of the better off turns. Because, you know, the reason why people prefer Kane over, say, like, Cisne and some of these other off turns is because with, like, Cisne, you have to actually deal damage. But Kane is just take an action, drop some spheres. Well, 7 is the same thing. Take an action take an action, uh, drop some spikes down, right? And uh, it's nice. So I don't know. I think Seven is a character that maybe um, has flown under the radar for some people and maybe content creators don't give her enough praise, but I'm going to give her praise. Like, I think she is actually really good. And once again, because we are talking like very early Echo, she has a lot of value being an Echo character and a lot of value that she provides one of the main meta things that we do in fr era which is off turn so seven's great like do not feel bad about investing her i'm actually considering bluing her armor because i am really enjoying her a lot um very very good character now watch this so we're getting into four so we can watch how we blow this up so there yeah 380k <laughs> that's really good aoe damage on a bondage whip right and so now yeah let's just take a garnet turn once again won't this is a force echo so does not eat up our turn count so we're just going to get really big numbers. And the nice thing with 7 is we can kind of see like how big her Echo is going to hit. Um, because it's mighty powerful, right? Look at that, 500k already from Bondage Whip. So the damage looking actually really good already. And then here we're going to hit Echo. Now this is at 300%. So look, oh yeah, actually I decided to do a Luna Frey here, don't I? I don't know why I just wanted back-to-back -back turns, but that does eat up a turn. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was doing here. I think I maybe just wanted to do back-to-back -back 7 Echo is really what I wanted to do here. I think that's why I used Luna Freya. So, I decided to do that to up the numbers a little bit. So, just 25%, nothing too crazy there. 
Okay, but then yeah, just 700k. Really just trying to show off seven a little bit. That's why. So this isn't like an optimized run. This isn't me like, oh, I'm going to do a 400 mil burst phase, but I just really want to showcase seven and get a good look at her. I think I just wanted to raise the gauge a little bit more, right? Because look at the nuke we get 15 mil. That was 15 mil at 400%. And so now since we use Luna Freya, and look at that, 800k from the Bondage Whip. Like, th the damage is really crazy here from 7. Really liking it. Um, and then we can do another back-to-back -back Echo here. First Echo was 15 mil. Uh, this Echo was, uh, that looks like it was about 8 mil there. So damage dropped off a little bit, but still really good damage. Um, or no, that wasn't the Echo. That was another attack. I was raising the gaze. Here comes the Echo. Yeah, so that was 8 mil from, like, the LD, because this instant turn. And then we get 9 mil there. <laughs> then we drop some Garnet Bombs. Actually, no, that was another LD. Sorry, I keep spamming LD here because once again, yeah, I wanted to get deeper. Now the FR. So sorry, that was an 8 mil LD, a 9 mil LD. Because you can do that with 7. You can spam Instant Turn if you want to. Because I wasn't trying to go into like a Pinello Burst Face here. I just wanted to get damage. Look at 23 mil. So we, we raised the gauge a little bit on some LDs. And then we got to that. And now... Look at her sadistic spikes or her bondage. It's over a mil AOE. So, so now we could instant turn rate, right? So I decide, sure, let's just summon because I don't want the enemies to do anything. Let's just summon with brothers a little bit early, but still six mil AOE from brothers. And now Pinello can just like fatal dance. <laughs> fatal dance and put up like a ton of damage. So we're actually going to just like singular force time this without even using a burst phase. Um, just because of how busted Echo is and those off turns are doing a lot of damage. So, and we've got another Echo here from Garnet. So now this is a very high percent shot, right? 800% for Garnet Echo. This will not eat up a turn count and we pretty much have the gauge full anyways. We're almost at the 999. So Garnet popping off a 17 mil AOE. Um, and then there's like a one and a half mil bondage attack. Um, the damage is heavy here. Like, it is just so good right now. Um, and it's one of those things where, like, pretty much if we're playing normal timeline fights, like, outside of, uh, what do you, what do you call it? The, uh, the big, the Spiritus fights? Like, outside of that, like, the normal timeline JP fights, for the most part, are pretty easy, right? So, we, we come in here, like, full force echo and just stomp the crap out of this fight. Uh, once again, if you don't have a crazy team i'm sure there's more mechanics here obviously you're seeing that it, it operates i like this fight a lot by the way because it operates like the bahamut fight where they just keep auto summoning the ads back so this is another really good fight just to show off big damage big burst phase pinello like 17 mil aoe and you can see here we're at max gauge with like three turns to spare so bondage whip you know yeah 1.4 1.6 mil they, these are really, really good numbers. And sure, let's pop off the EX. Let's see what Sadistic Spikes does here. Uh, so yeah, 11 mil AoE, sure. <laughs> Pretty good. That EX is actually a really nice uh, attack for Seven because she is a very single target oriented character. So the fact you can pop off that EX and do really big AoE damage is good. And sure, let's do Garnet LD here to kind of finish things off. So what's going to happen here is, uh, yeah, 10 mil AoE, sure. Enemy's still alive, right? Rallying Cry. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. That 3% is going to be a pain. Oh, wait. We've got Garnet dropping another bomb from the sky. <laughs> Finishing him off. 8 mil on just a Garnet bomb. So anyways, guys, there you go. 7 looking really good. I, dare I say she's a little underrated. I think she's working out really well here. Really valuable. Two, a two aspects here that are really valuable, right? She's got Echo and she's got Traps. Um, she fits the mold of what you kind of want on a team build. And this actual team build I ran is pretty nice. So anyways, let me know what you're thinking of 7. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.